This episode of Strange Love brought to you by Treasure Licious. Good evening. This is Strange Love, and I'm your host, Cami Chaos. Welcome, babies. Good evening, and welcome to Strange Love Live After Hours. This is my fake voice. Woo! I'm your host, Cami Chaos, and as always, I'm joined by Dr. Normal. Tr- Todd and I were... Oh, that was my fake voice, too. <laughs> yeah, I broke off! Fun. <laughs> okay. Behave yourself. Hello. Oh, are you done? Yeah, Are you I, sure? I was behaving myself. I actually, yeah, never mind. But and you were going to introduce. Okay, so now we have a huge room full of people. So I'm going to do something yeah, different this evening. Biggest. I'm going to point people at people, here. and they're going to introduce themselves. So our guests this evening are John Meta. Yay! Yay. <laughs> and AJ, also known as Linux Aid. Even he doesn't say his last name. It's too hard to pronounce for him. And... Wine's at all, wine's at all. Uh-huh. Uh, Bill Jackson, I'm Waji. And now we're going to introduce you to our studio audience. This is Morgan, otherwise known as Morgan PDX. Yay! Oh. And Verso. Yay! <laughs> Needs no other interest. And I'm Allie, and I don't have a Twitter name. <laughs> oh! <laughs> That deserves the biggest applause in the room. God bless you for having a life. We're gonna have to fix that uh, by the end of the evening. Yeah, John, can you can I'm you fix sign her up during after hours? We're on it. Awesome. You get drunk at the chaos house, and next thing you know, you're on Twitter. <laughs> what happened to me last night? I don't know. Oh my God, it's worse than a tattoo. Okay. I have a Twitter account. And. <laughs> I'm John, JNPDX. Allie came with me, and I've been trying to convince her to get on Twitter, but it actually works pretty well with one person in the house on Twitter and one person not on. No, no, so. it's no, really no, no, good. No, 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 it's no, no, really no, no, good no, no, no. because when um, Dr. Normal is upstairs and I'm downstairs, I can just DM Are you talking about in the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to be nice. But when Dr. Normal is in, in the bathroom. bathroom and he's up there for six hours, at I Dr. can be Normal like, at oh. in the bathroom. Hashtag in the bathroom. Dude, when are, are you, you coming ever? down, honey? <laughs> Hashtag. What are you doing in the bathroom? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hashtag, uh, never mind. And, TMI. and Jessica Mata. Jessica playing injured. Oh, man, yeah. that was scary. Is she injured? Well, she said she's... Well, she didn't... Because I'm she's, still kind of embarrassed. She said she yeah, wasn't injured, so I wasn't going to bring it up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I, I forgot that. I'm All sorry. Right. So <laughs> speaking of drinks... Yes. Wait, uh, before we get into the drinks, though, I have to okay. show everyone something. Something I don't know if you can see yours. this. Oh. This does not belong to me, and I don't understand. It's so beautiful. <laughs> Kelly left her, Verso, I'm sorry, left her TARDIS key in my basement when she went home, and I found it on a chair. And you know what that means, folks? On that note, that uh, Doctor Who note, it's time <laughs> For drinks. Okay. No more Doctor Who talk for Cammy. It's drink time. Oh, for once. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, the oh, studio there, audience there can't hear is. the drink music. Yeah. Okay. Cammy is drinking mango rum mixed with lemon. I didn't have to make the drink. For once, I didn't mix it. <laughs> AJ made me a drink. Yeah. Yes, AJ. AJ. And I just realized that we have some, uh, we have some... Do we have mead upstairs? Or yes, do we, we have do. we have mead upstairs? We have one that mead that we... is ready to be opened tonight and one that is for you to store for about a year. Oh. We have some mead upstairs that will be brought down in a little while. Yeah, for that us would to be consume. good. We can try that out. Because we yes. talked it's, about it's that. pretty young, but, but yeah. it's drinkable. <laughs> what else? Uh oh. Severe this... giggling in the studio. Yeah, there's audience. a lot of giggling. I wasn't yeah. kidding. <laughs> Somebody that doesn't have a Twitter name is just like keep it's typing away at the keyboard. That now. Oh, oh, is she getting she, Twitter? She's getting a Twitter Oh, name. my God, this is history. Sweet. Is this history? Wow. Wow. Yes, so. This is history. Someone's getting a Twitter account in our studio. That's right. Awesome. 
See, you tried and you failed, and look, Kelly fixed it right away. <laughs> now we're gonna see arguments via via oh, Twitter. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so who else is drinking something? <laughs> I'm drinking mango rum and lemon as well. Yeah, and so uh -huh. are Kelly and Morgan. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, is that true? Yeah. What are you drinking? <laughs> no, Wadji's drinking water. Oh, there you go. Water. Good water. The edge, baby. That's good. Good purification oh, there. Good. That's good. Todd and I are drinking the Cavassier. <laughs> I thought you were out of Cavassier. Uh, I, I don't like Cavassier. Yeah. I, I needed something for the throat. I just yeah, I thought like you were out of it, though. No, no, no. Yeah, that's Martel, actually. Oh, you were. Okay. I prefer Martel, but Cavassier is. Okay. Like, yeah, whatever. I just think I should point out that uh, my water shouldn't be a big deal because I've been drinking all night before I came here. <laughs> oh, well, that's good to know. <laughs> Plenty of whiskey. Right, so what were guests on Strange Love Live drink heavily before whiskey they show up. In order to make it on the show, they consume mass amounts. Great. Like yes. everyone who comes here has been on beer, has been to beer and blog. Positively interviewing. Yeah, positively influencing the youth of America since 2008. That would be strange of live. Unless after you're hours. 21, please don't listen to my show. <laughs> yes. We have a Twitter account. Awesome. Ah! So what's right, the Twitter what's the name? name? What's, what's the, the Twitter, Twitter name? name? You may now speak. <laughs> okay. Give her the mic. My new name is Allie PDX on Twitter. Allie Ooh, PDX. A L, -A -L I. Yeah. A L I P D X. As right. soon as I'm done with this, I'm gonna go follow you. That is, that is, yeah, that's right. Everybody in the chat room, go follow. A -L -I -P -D -X. Follow. A -L -I -P -D -X. A -L -I -P -D -X. There we go. Here we go. You're gonna yeah. get a ton of followers, and uh, that's a first. So, what else <laughs> are we talking? About? I would like to discuss the fact that John Meta is going to be talking at Ignite. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And oh, so what are you drinking? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> mm. Mike? Yeah, you wrote a really lovely blog post. And I say it's lovely not only because it was well written, but because it don't was about all about me. you. <laughs> so things about me. I think, I think the real question here. The, okay. the thing that everybody really wants to know, having read that blog post, is will your talk include Cammie's underpants as well? No, 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 no. It's her cleavage, not her underpants. No, oh, no, my... no. My underpants no, her right there, slides oh, included her underpants. She underpants. says, okay, so have in the audience both, with the both. wife in the audience as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's still a valid question. <laughs> Hello. Did you want to answer that? Did you, you know. Did you, did you. Oh, no. <laughs> Thank you. No, they will not include Cammy's underpants. See, there we go. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Only my see, Ignite so presentation now, can I'm, include I'm my looking, underpants. The logical I'm, I'm follow-up looking... question is, will it be your underpants? I was going to say I have some pretty sweet underpants. Yes. But at the same uh, uh. time, I will be in the audience, and I I feel like... She tends to you blush. You know, I've just met Cammy tonight, but I feel like I'm a, maybe a little bit more modest. <laughs> <laughs> not oh. that, you know, she's no, no, out there, okay, but that's I'm just... The not world that's is not more modest no. than Cammy Chaos, trust me. <laughs> I think when the difference is whether or not the picture is you in the underpants. About two and a half billion people yeah, yeah, to, be fair, to be fair, <laughs> yeah. I was not in the underpants when I no, photographed. No, they, yeah, it's just a picture of underpants. So at that point, it's a little more okay, right? And it wasn't that... I mean, I only remembered one pair of underpants, actually. There were four. Yeah, I said... Because I couldn't choose. I couldn't pick. Wait, 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 wait. We have news from the background. Me I'm not sorry. in the underpants. I would say 50% okay. I'm not going to go all the way there, but. <laughs> <laughs> I got right. I got underpants for so, Ignite. No, I, she's I like can a, get her 50%. I can get her the rest of the way. No problem. I, I, I got a she's like a couple here. of Cammy's drinks away from totally agreeing. So you're yeah, good. so yeah. cool. Yeah. How, how bad would it be when you get up there and start your five minutes and people start throwing their underpants up on the stage? <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. Oh, I know what I'm no, bringing slow, to slow ignite. Down, yeah. Wait, wait. <laughs> um, wait people crazy. or women? Because guys' underpants are a completely <laughs> different story. I'm going to bring hey, Dr. Just, Normal's underpants. Yeah, I'm going to bring a bunch a few, of whitey tighties. <laughs> yeah, I just, <laughs> I I've got a few you know, pair of uh, I, I ready, wanna, you know. Kind of. I want to share a behind the scenes. Can you throw these away from me, please. John? I want to share a behind the scenes. Thank you. About Ignite Portland. A little threadbare. Originally, I was contemplating throwing underpants, one pair of underpants, at the audience. That would have been fun. Doctor Normal vetoed that. Yeah. Oh. Can't imagine why. <laughs> Dr. Uh, <laughs> Normal and the entire Legion of Tech, I'm thinking. The Legion of Tech didn't know it was going to... Actually, I was going to, like, and They don't call them the Legion them. of Tech for nothing. Boom. I thought we threw panties at 
Rosie. Is that not? No, no, we haven't done that. Now you've told him. Oh, now you now just you've ruined it. Him. Yeah, that was that Uh-oh. was pretty. We've threatened you for months. It's not. Like it'll just, happen. You've warned him, and and Be AJ what you AJ for. knows my trauma over the panty tossing in the stage. So. Oh, I told him that, a horrible story I, from my youth. I do have to say that uh, Aaron Hockley in the chat room says what the Legion of Tech doesn't know won't hurt them. See, Aaron so, Hockley exactly. even thinks I should have thrown my panties at the audience. It's always easier to ask for forgiveness than permission. permission. Exactly. exactly. Just don't tell yeah. my yes. kid that. But <laughs> well, how, <yeah. laughs> I mean, how many hours do you think it would be before they showed up on eBay? <laughs> I'll be honest. If someone auctioned my panties off on eBay, I'd probably be a little proud. Okay, that's the oh. third revenue model that oh, I've come up this week for <laughs> Strange Love Live. Thank you very much, Waji. I have oh, do breaking news too. from the chat room. Breaking news from the chat room. Uh oh. Holato. Excuse me. Hi, Nate. Hi, Nate. <laughs> says, I think we have a quorum from the Legion of Tech Advisory Committee, and we will definitely recommend underpants. Oh. <laughs> I'm bringing some whitey tidies. So, yeah, is that a, yeah? Nate, see, see, once again, guys wearing, underpants are completely different. Yeah, is that, is that wearing, wearing or, or tossing? Throwing? We need to know. I, I'm going to throw them up. Yes. Someone Not when you're wearing to... them, though. No, 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 oh, no, 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 okay. that no. no. Well, that also... would involve a catapult. No, I'm videotaping, so I can't take them off so, yeah. and videotape and throw them up. That's <laughs> okay. impossible. You could have them in your pocket, however. Okay, so Aaron in the chat room, Ahockley says, "This is PDX. Someone will write an open source version of eBay and put the panties there." That's right. There we go. We're and good. Aaron, I guarantee whoever writes that will let you sign in with OpenID. Of course, mm-hmm. just as long as it's not in, on a, um, a Windows Microsoft system. I'm cool with that. Oh, yeah. No, Aaron would never use a Microsoft system. Oh. <coughs> no, of course not. <laughs> no, doesn't he hate Vista, actually? Didn't he say something about that? Vista, yes, Windows. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. With that note. <laughs> no, seriously, because... John uh, managed to derail the entire discussion of him talking at, at Ignite. Do you yes. notice how he did that? It was very clever. <laughs> that was He's great. a very clever guy. He <laughs> likes to talk about panties. Talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my oh, word. God. And AJ, you've been videotaping Ignite for how long? Uh, since the beginning. <laughs> since the beginning. Yeah, it's been a fun, fun thing to do. And, uh, you know, I think I'll be able to be there this time too yeah, yeah but our the 11 year old has a science fair project that day oh, ooh. Ooh, so wow. i think i gotta go during the day to like see the presentation or yeah. whatever so i can go to ignite yeah. at night we have often had child tech conflicts it's hard it is difficult yes. the first time we did a on location episode of strange of live was also our daughter's ballet debut uh. <laughs> so we went to the ballet debut and then rushed over that's what you got to do. It's yeah. a hectic, hectic, crazy life, but you got to do what you got to do. It was you know, amazing. That's actually that an off. argument for the whole. Um, I'm geeking out just a little bit here, but that's a, an thing. argument for the whole BSG thing. I mean, if you had babies who were basically Cylons, you might not have the same, you know, conflict between tech and kids, right? Because your kids are. Robots, but do, then sometimes their a, tech events switch? might their yeah, tech you... events might conflict with your tech events. Are you just gonna put your True. kids in standby? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, I, I was thinking about just programming the kids. Like, you know, yeah. I need to free up some hard drive space on my child. I gotta put him in the hybrid anymore. <laughs> Kay has a robot <laughs> dog, and when we're here. done playing with it, we just push its nose, and it goes, yeah. "Oh, okay," and it turns off. Toaster, toaster, and blog. What? <laughs> I remember an episode yeah. of Futurama where it says. Bender says, you can't turn me. (laughs) 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 Hmm. And then he wakes up and he says, off. Yeah. Yeah. Does anyone know the actual date? I mean, it's it's a Thursday in February 19th. 19th. Yeah, we February 19th, Ignite Portland. I be there with your panties. The ticket, yeah. Everyone, bring Please. a pair of panties. I'm Please. not telling you who to throw them at. I'm just telling you to bring a pair of panties to throw. Not necessarily panties. Under, under, no, 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 no. Female, not the no, the no, leg. no. Hey, doctor, hey, normal, hey, hey, throw hey. these things out. Hey, and, and, hey. and throw them up to, on John Meadows. I have got to say, Doctor Normal does not wear whitey tighties. No, I have. Of nice course t-shirt. not. Of course yeah. not. He wears the silk. Boxers. I'm no. Sure. Oh no no no. No 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 no. no. Uh, we need a little more support than that. No. <laughs> <laughs> support. Don't they need to breathe? No 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 no. They need support. Trust me. Yeah. I mean you know. Man bits need support. That's right. Tom saying. Okay, support it's boxer briefs then. 
No, I need to lift and separate. Lift and separate. He needs support. <laughs> Please don't lift and separate. <laughs> That's just like... <laughs> That's what happens when you go to the doctor. Um, <laughs> it only happens for about a week. Right. Then after about a week, you're good. All right. If this were a tweet, I would hashtag it long story, but I've done some shopping for men's underpants, and there are some that include something called a trophy shelf. That's all I'm saying. Well, 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 there, there's a whole <laughs> shop. How is that not at least a little bit of lift and possibly yeah. some separate? Okay, okay. Well, I, I, I know that separate everybody. Trophy shelf. I know that pretty much everybody here, yeah. you know, is in downtown Portland, but in Bridgeport, there is an underwear store just for men. There's one on Broadway. It's the same store. No way. That's yes. freaky. That is a freaky store. <laughs> I look at the mannequins. I'm like, uh, uh under, that's freaky. No, I don't ever want to go to that store. No, is the address on Shazam. Under Can four men. Up? Under four men. Under for you. Under, under four for men. You, it's under like four men. Oh, under yeah. roos? No, no, they're not. Really no, no, roos. that's shoes. Yeah. They, oh no no, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking kangaroos. I'm sorry. So, so you guys out yeah. in Sherwood are wearing oh, your shoes. briefs on the shoes so then? Shoes. <laughs> okay, the I mean I know it's cold out there in the winter, but well, know, where I live, you know, we have like a foot yeah. of snow, and exactly. we gotta like walk a mile to get to work or That's something. Right. Uh, uphill yeah. both ways. Yeah. Yep. Now I will say this Barefoot. about yes. the Bridgeport Village under under for you or whatever under for it's men, called. I think under yeah. for men the yeah. place with the stuff and the undies. Yeah. So I they do go sell. There. They no, sell you don't. Paul no, no, Frank. No, 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 no. Yes, he does. They We're sell not going there. Paul Frank underwear. I do not want Paul Frank underwear on my man. I will not have sex with him if he's okay. wearing Paul Frank underwear. But they have Paul Julius on them. There we go. And they're I. awesome. And let me just say, <laughs> if Steph Strickland is listening, Steph, Julius underpants. That's okay. what I'm telling you. Let me say, okay. if there is any sort of character on my man's drawers. Oh, no, they have some that are not at all. No, but they're, um, like, made of bamboo, and they have some that are really comfy. Wait a and minute. Like, yeah. Wait a minute. What, what is about, this, Gilligan's what, Island what underpants Sean or something? Connery oh, no, they're, like, though. the softest No, I don't want any ever. kind of... No, no Sean Connery on his pants. Cause, cause oh, no. I, cause no, no, I mean, no, no. I mean, I would have no. sex with him if he had Sean Connery on his pants. <laughs> <laughs> Another good Uh-oh. reason for him to not have Sean Connery on. His I, I, I can't believe John said that with his wife in the same room. Yeah, that's like, yeah, whoa. So it gets kind of lonely, lonely out there in the gorge, does it, John? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Okay, if there was going to be, we get anyone... a little more action, more TV and stuff here in Portland. A few more channels. I might accept David Tennant underwear. Uh, oh, okay. Tardis underpants. Tardis, un- no, yeah, no, David Tennant, but Tardis underpants, I might accept. Tardis underpants. But that's not a person. Doctor, exactly. Can you get behind person. the Tardis underpants. The, I'm so lost right now. <laughs> the no, lost wi- underpants or something else. We're not there no, yet. I don't, watch, I don't watch Lost. I'm not down with the Lost, but I would be down with the TARDIS underpants. The wife has always wondered, how come they don't make underwire briefs for men? Trophy Ouch. Ouch. Trophy shelf. Oh, yeah. really? Or maybe... No, well, also, also <laughs> if you need to wear an underwire, there's more weight involved than yeah. there is with the testes. That would be nasty. <laughs> Uncomfortable. After what? hours is so much different in person. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Morgan. You are so that, was, right. really. that was Morgan. Yeah, it is. Uh, I, I think I think right. K- Cammy actually told me relax. It it won't hurt at all. It, well, it won't be. <laughs> It's painless except for the painful no. parts. I think that's what she said. It's painless. Yeah, but what's not even And that's what, that's what after hours is, is the painful part. Yes. Oh, I still on. haven't made you talk about your Ignite presentation. No, I've, See, I've we managed to weasel my way. <laughs> We're trying to distract with the underpants. Yeah, Try to help exactly. out. This is much more interesting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh. So, well, I, I can just see KGW or you know the news thing. Whoa, there were underpants thrown up on stage at Ignite. They have to do something to beat me talking about cleavage. Exactly. <laughs> to Joe Smith. Yeah, poor Joe Smith. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Very make up for the, for the hipster. No. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Hipsters okay. with cleavage. Like, I mean, they, no. they paid the price over and over again. <laughs> you know, they came poor, and sat here poor. on the I show know, and true. paid the price. Stephanie and Aaron sat where a crappy where basement with yeah, one camera now. just to be, uh, okay. No, 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 and they said nice things about our microphones. And to be fair, Thing. To be fair, the, my personal stance on the whole like Joe Smith at Ignite, what have you, was kerfuffle, if you will, was kerfuffle. basically that um, their fail was still like miles ahead of any other station Absolutely. ever doing anything the to yeah. cover the nerd. I mean, they even though they went. like 
yeah. were doing it wrong, essentially. Like they were still they like, were still doing we're it. We're trying yeah. and we're here and, the and fact everybody that you freaked guys are, out a little bit too much too. It's like yeah, get a life. This foremost, isn't you know bad dad guys. You know? A newscaster guy blush. Yeah. So actually, it was but, the well, Baghdad. Hello. It was the Baghdad. We're hello. talking about Kimmy Chaos here. I mean, you, know you can make though? anybody yeah. blush. But, but you know, I got to, and that's awesome. All right. <laughs> we covered this. But no, checking we that, did. well, first of all, checking that off Kimmy's list was awesome. But also, <laughs> their failure was really what got them engaged with yeah. the tech community yeah, in Portland. Steph even said, if that yeah. hadn't because, happened, yeah. then, then the whole KGW, Twitter, Portland geek that was great. Love Fest probably would yeah. not have gotten kicked and off. The and fact that they're doing anything, let alone an entire half hour program that's like, here's the question of the day. Reply on Twitter if you want to, and we will read your responses, is still way more exciting than anything you're hearing on any other even number channel and, in and town. even even cooler even than that even channel. cooler than yes. that when they open up that this the new studio in the square they're giving crisp hundreds to everybody on twitter just no no i'm telling you it's inside information all the time every every seven o'clock man you're gonna be aaron's gonna be out there with the crisp hundreds you know oh awesome. Wadji, hey here's your hundreds i'm telling you man well they're new media like, they're doing like cuts out cutouts and whatnot Good. right i mean like cut i don't well, understand your doing, strange like, language Oh, I'm sorry. Um, too much rum. Um, <laughs> like during the commercials, aren't they doing like still streaming? Oh, yes. Stuff? Oh, yes. 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 They're yes. still That's streaming we... during the commercial, which I find fascinating. Yep. Yes. Yeah. I, I just like to say uh, I, I forgave KGW in general a long time ago, but Joe Smith finally won me back last night when he covered Tony Starlights. Lunch. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that was, was awesome. That, that was, was really awesome. good. awesome. Yeah, and I, I actually have to leave to get back there pretty soon because the band's finishing right now. Oh, mm. oh. So we should say hi to when when you gotta go. You gotta go pretty quick. I, I think I have a few minutes. I left Garbaca there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hi Garbaca. Yeah. Hi Garbaca. <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, if Steph or Aaron Weiss happens to be listening, uh, that was me that got your tweet last night because I've actually been running the Twitter account for Tony Starlights. <laughs> ah. ah, very nice, very nice. <laughs> so I think what's gonna happen is in a moment, Doctor Norm is gonna take Waji upstairs and let him out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded Come on, wrong. Waji. <laughs> Good boy. That sounded very, very wrong. Uh, you did a good job. Everything, good boy. Do you want a doggy treat? And everything that comes out of your mouth somehow sounds condescending. Jesus. So, you know. AJ made this drink. It's all rum with some lemon in it. Great. It's awesome. <laughs> I hereby resign so, <laughs> from Sandy. So talking about media oh no wait i need thing... to tell you you oh, need to go upstairs you need to <laughs> yeah 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 i got i got that i got you that. need to open the door for... <laughs> i got that maybe we'll send person anyway um there's no good way to say it but then you need to bring down the mead yes it's we'll in do the that. little refrigerator under the water cooler but speaking of mead and the gorge and community radio yes john <laughs> let's try to wrestle this show quiet. back to uh some sort of sanity and tell us, you're doing some community radio stuff out in the gorge. I'm here. John, tell us about your radio show. Okay. So, uh, yeah. KZAS, um, 95.1 FM in Hood River. It's a small community radio station with a negative budget. And, uh, like so many I'm, of us. I'm the engineer and the... And a DJ. Um, yeah, we just applied for a grant, so maybe that'll come through, but I'm not sure. Is it like what user just user sponsored? Did you get some like PBS um, money or something? We like that? don't NPR get money? any money actually. No, user we, sponsored. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's low power FM, um, but you can get it pretty much anywhere in Hood River, and we have a repeater in um, Stevenson, and then one in the Dallas, ninety-seven point seven in Stevenson or. 90, oh my god. <laughs> 107.7, yeah. 95.9 in Stevenson, 107.7 in the Dallas. Yeah. And you do a, a weekly show? A weekly? Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not actually hosting my weekly show right now because I'm doing... Okay. The, the time that I spend at the station right now is sort of working on the computer systems and the audio chain, but it's a, it's a weekly show called um, That Dusty Road. It's um, jazz, blues, and American roots music. Cool. Cool. Yeah. And are you are you able to like stream that, or is that pretty much just it's going out? We can't stream. Airway? Yeah, we can't stream because um, we're, I mean we're FCC regulated, and so we have to pay the right. um, you know those large 
bills to BMI and mm -hmm. and um, and the you know the big three companies and and those bills are a lot larger if you're streaming on the internet so we mm -hmm. don't have that kind of funding yet we don't actually have enough to broadcast but <laughs> yeah <laughs> we end up doing it anyway yeah I know that story <laughs> so is that something you've been doing uh, for a while or is that something that you just kind of got into when you were when you were in the gorge yeah when I, I mean I've done thing? a lot of audio stuff but I mean mm -hmm. I um when I got to the gorge and I guess we got there in 95 I just sort of picked up with this with it. and why oh, were you 95 <laughs> I think you're at your yeah. wife no no dinner. quality control she she often she yeah she often is quality control at the station too which is a good thing <laughs> yeah we yeah no, that was 2005. 2005. 2005. Okay. Yeah, it's a Only slight, a decade Slight off. difference. Yeah, what's a decade between friends? Not that. <laughs> and why the Gorge? Uh, just got a job there. Mm -hmm. And we didn't at all want to leave Portland because it was the greatest place that we've ever lived. And then we decided to take her job. Well, she decided to take the job in the Gorge. And now we would have a very as much as I'll get crucified for this comment we'd have a very hard time moving back to Portland <laughs> uh, yeah because uh -huh. I like Portland almost as much as I like Hood River yeah yeah almost <laughs> as much no that's I mean you know it's Hood River right I mean you're, yeah I mean, the now the winters are a little harsh no up there <laughs> whatever yeah yeah no no the winters are yeah they're awful <laughs> oh god yeah you wouldn't want to move there no, 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 don't don't go there. Thank you, no, Tom no, McCall. No. <laughs> no. Um, Wait, I, I can't hear you, Jess. What did you say? I said no, we should move there. <laughs> yeah. And no one should yeah, move to awful. Portland either. <laughs> Portland is yeah, a no. really horrible place to live. Yeah, yeah and we get like a California foot of snow in the winter or something. You know, it's really, really yeah. bad. Yeah. So, um, and um, she's going to do it. No, she can't do it because she doesn't have the alarm clicker. Oh, where is it? Do I have to go? You go find it. You no, know the, okay. Well. You know the special magic code. And your next question for John is? So, <laughs> what got you involved in radio in the first place? Probably an accident. An accident? In radio in Hood River or radio anywhere? I don't know. Yes, in general. Oh, I just like, and then in, I like music. Yeah? Yeah. And is the, the music that you choose to play, well, you're not, you said you're not doing your show right now. But well, the yeah, it's, I mean, it's still play playing. It's still my, yeah, it's still my library mm -hmm. but it's just it's kind of just the music i grew up with that's also. the kind of music you, that you prefer yeah 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 jazz blues and a, you know american roots i kind of see that i see jazz and blues as kind of an american roots music i i would agree with you on that 100 yeah. percent. actually it's it's one of the the few musics that were really born of the united states yeah yeah and so i kind of put those evil country around. music but that's okay <laughs> Yeah, a lot of I don't know a lot of a lot of roots music or early roots country is pretty good. Um, yes, I would agree with you on that. I just I don't like where country music has gone currently. Yeah. In the last twenty years. Yeah, interestingly, I um, I grew up thinking that all those people would hang my people, and so I hated country music. And then I married a woman who was going to be a country music singer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry if I said anything offensive about country music. <laughs> I don't know. But I freaking hate Garth Brooks. I thought you liked the Garth Brooks earlier. That was my impression. No, no, no. That was not your impression. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Your impression was that I was disgusted that my aunt threw panties at Kenny Rogers. <laughs> yes, I forgot that one. Sorry. <laughs> yes. But that's Kenny Rogers. I don't like Kenny Rogers. <laughs> Gotta know when to hold oh, them. And, and know when to fold them. I can, them. I can point my microphone at you, Morgan, but Dr. Normal's not here to turn that mic on. Okay. Did you have something to say? What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> Was that in reference to my aunt throwing panties at Kenny Rogers? <laughs> that was so, a conversation that we had earlier tonight yeah, before it, everybody arrived aj and i were talking and i was i asked him what his first concert ever was and then i told him very regretfully that my first concert ever was when i was a young child <laughs> my mother i hate you mom <laughs> no i don't i love my mom very much actually 
my mother forced me to go to a Kenny Rogers concert as a child at a state fair. And while I was there, my aunt, her younger sister, threw her panties at Kenny Rogers. And at the time, I was really young, and I was like, God, that's gross. Why would my aunt throw her panties at Kenny Rogers? <laughs> and then when I was 12 or 13, I was like reflecting on it. And I realized why my aunt threw her panties at Kenny Rogers. <laughs> And that's why we're going to throw our undergarments at John at <laughs> exactly. night Portland 5. Jesus, this is going to be the biggest I can tell ever. I haven't <laughs> missed anything since I've been away. Except that you did. <laughs> panties no, I, and <laughs> panties. I'm sure you missed something. <laughs> the title of the show will be <laughs> After Hours <laughs> with Metador <laughs> and Panties. <laughs> woo <Woo-woo>. woo. <sighs> Good times. Woo-hoo. Did your aunt's panties have skid marks? <laughs> I, I had to not. ask. <laughs> I hope not. No, I really no. hope not. They don't no. listen to the show. I would think. I would think that <laughs> at least Aunt Shelley's I don't think panties. They do. No, Shelly doesn't listen Ooh. to the show. I would think that Actually, if her pa- look, she yeah. loved it. I think she still loves him. Okay. Um, if her panties contained skid marks, I would think she would not throw them at Kenny Rogers. Well, I was just thinking. You know, um, Verso here is wearing the Neil Diamond t-shirt have and, you oh, ever oh. thrown panties at neil diamond be honest yeah. oh come on i haven't because i can't afford seats good enough to throw and actually get them to the stage all right yeah. that's fair it would just cause an unfortunate audience <laughs> incident <laughs> i will point out however that the one of the first that probably the first actual concert i ever went to was with my dad mm-hmm. and my dad when i lived in boardman oregon mm-hmm. beautiful boardman oregon who was Not. the who was the concert Motley Crue, the Feel Good Tour. Oh, that's what I'm saying. I think we cool. need to now the go last around. Legitimate wow. Motley Crue tour before Vince Neil got fat. In, in <laughs> after Nicky Oregon, overdosed. of all places, there you go. We drove all the way to Portland Jeez. and saw them at Memorial oh, okay. Coliseum. Okay, I was gonna say. I think oh, we no. need to go around the no, room no. now, and everyone needs to share with us their first concert experience. Right. We'll start with Morgan. Morgan. Oh yeah. Here we go. My first concert experience that I'll claim. <laughs> Oh. I want honesty, Morgan. Honesty, come on. Honesty. Drink. You don't. You don't have enough rum in you or something. I here. admitted come that on. I had to see Kenny Rogers. <laughs> Kenny freaking Rogers, this is true. Morgan. This is true. All right. Um, was the Beach Boys? <laughs> oh, that's yeah. a good one. That was yeah. Yeah. I would have in the around, middle. Get in the middle of a I baseball field. <laughs> in yeah. Lynn Lynn City of Sin, Massachusetts. Oh Woo-hoo. yeah, baby. All right, and now. Twitter Portland's newest member. <laughs> Who has like 15 followers already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's 16. awesome. 16. Okay, 16. okay I'm sorry. I'm, yeah, I'm behind she'll, on She'll the have 150 I'll be by there tomorrow soon. morning. <laughs> yes, she will. Uh, uh, and regrettably, I think my first concert, probably going to have to put back on for my head after this, is the Backstreet Boys. Oh. oh well, you, say, you're, you're not on Quitter, right? Just, <laughs> I just want to make sure you don't get hurt or anything. Yeah, this... My first concert could have been a lot worse, so I totally okay. understand where you're coming from. So, what's your first concert, Verso? It was Motley Crue Memorial. Yeah, she told oh, that. I'm sorry. I'm no, sorry. Yeah. Have you been drinking? Yes, I have. It been. was like Motley Crue or New Kids on the Block or like Janet Jackson on the Rhythm Nation tour. No, you're so a Motley Crue so person. So I went. So yes. Dude, Motley Crue. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Well, my dad sort of owed me a trip to Portland in the tickets because he kept taking my brother to Blazer Games mm. uh, for his birthday each yeah. year. So like three years in a row, finally one time my dad went, hey, maybe you'd like to go to Portland to something too. Yeah. Do you want it to be a concert? And I said, well, yes. As a matter of fact, I would. And was able to find a listing for the, ro- for the Memorial Coliseum at the time. And the interesting thing is that I walked in wearing a jean jacket with a lot of buttons down the front. And the, guy, the security guard at the gate, don't judge me, Cammy. <laughs> the security <laughs> guard at the gate didn't think twice about me. And searched my dad instead. And it turned out my dad went to high school with his dad. And there you go. There you go. I think on the way back we should pick up Get the paraphernalia in there. John. I think that's good, Morgan. John. Well. Impress us, John. I I don't think that's going to happen because to be (laughs) (laughs) To be honest, I feel bad being a professional musician. You'd think that it would be a memorable experience. The first concert that I was, that I went to. Uh, but I'm having a, a hard time thinking of what it might have been. But I think what it might have been actually was um, I don't know if you guys were uh, 
you know, part of this scene in Portland, but do you guys remember coffee, tea, and OPB? Back when OPB put that on, is there Dr. Normal is nodding. <laughs> vaguely, vaguely, I think, vaguely. Well, this was, this was like OPB's fundraiser kind of yeah. deal. They used to put on like a community sort of open house. And I remember going to see like bluegrass music there when I was like really little, but I don't know. I, it certainly wasn't the Backstreet Boys. <laughs> and it, it certainly wasn't Motley Crue. I have to ask, <laughs> did you know that about your girlfriend before this evening? Actually, I did, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'm glad that that didn't come as a shock to you. <laughs> okay, next. Okay, Jessica. So I don't think anybody heard me exclaim, but I was stunned because my first concert was also the uh, Beach Boys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, get I, um, get they came I to a we had a a theme park in the the town that I grew up in, uh, Carowinds in Charlotte, North Carolina, and they had a you know a concert venue there, and the five of us went like my mom and my dad and my brother and sister and I, and I remember my sister, the youngest one. We were so young that she fell asleep in the Aww. in the seats, and they were holding her. I think I was probably like six or something, you know. I it, and at that point I was just in love with oldies, and so I was in love with the Beach Boys. I was like, I'm yeah. gonna marry one of them, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I I think Jess should tell her Judd story though, since uh, since was there's there so much Judd's love concert? of. Con- Country music in the room. Here we go, avoiding John talking again. Yeah, we're going to get to you. We're going to go over here to Dr. Normal, and then it's going to be your turn. Mm. I've noticed that. This is very interesting here. It's like, you well, I'll just bring a group be on the of show. people. Yeah, yeah. yeah, initially it was just going to be John on the show, and then it was suddenly like, oh, I can't come on the show by myself. And just with a wave of the hand, yeah, panties, panties, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Just for that whitey tidies yeah. right up on the stage. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to find my tiniest underwear. And so, that, that will be the pair I throw <laughs> No, whitey tidy skid marks. I mean, we're good. <laughs> so when and I with was that? In, uh, <laughs> and, and, I am sorry, <laughs> Joe's wife. <laughs> to, to pull it from, you know, panties to country music. <laughs> Which, there's a tear. When I was in, in middle school, awesome. I um, realized I wanted to be a country singer Mm -hmm. and my favorite group was the Judds and of course by that point they had just kind of recently broken up and so Winona was on her own and she was coming to Charlotte and you could go and tell the country music station why you deserved front row seats and backstage passes and I they were coming to the little suburb near me and I couldn't go because I had piano lessons Mm. and I was heartbroken and I was like mom please let me skip piano lessons And no, I can't skip piano lessons. And so while I was in piano lessons, my mom and my younger sister went for me Mm. and told the radio station how much I loved her and how I wanted to be a country singer. And so they gave us the the front row seats and the backstage passes. And so I got to meet Winona and like shake her hand. And I was going to, you know, I came up with all these things I was going to say. I was going to be like, I'm going to be a country singer just like you. And I get up there and I'm like, you know, I can't say a single word. (laughs) And and my mom says, you know, she loves you. And I'm like, I just shake in my head and just shaking all over. And anyway, and so, and I'm not a country singer. Is she, your, <laughs> is she your favorite Judd, though? Who was your Who's your favorite Judd? Is Winona your favorite Judd? Of course. They're, they're equally, equally. All equal, actually. okay. You know, I remembered who my first concert was, yeah. and it was should have been more memorable. It was Odetta. Anyone? Yeah. Odetta? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, she was... Bueller? A- Anyone? Bueller. Bueller? Yeah, yeah like, sorry. I grew up in a weird household. She died recently, so now you should did, feel bad about um, not knowing, knowing who it is. Just I've so. had enough rum that I don't feel guilty. <laughs> <laughs> I will later. When I listen to the show, I'll be like, oh, crap, I'm a bitch. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't know. Bitch didn't come through at all. No. <laughs> okay. You, You're welcome. No. Ice Queen, is however. Oh. 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 oh, that's so bad. <laughs> And this, ladies and gentlemen, is why we have John Meta on the show this evening. <laughs> okay. I, I, I love it. Thank you. Here, here, here's Rick Trosi on Twitter. He said, you get drunk at the chaos house, and the next thing you know, you're, you're on, on Twitter. Twitter. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay, Dr. Normal, first concert. 
Uh, we can, we can. Dr. Normal. Oh, oh. First concert. You're not as good We're as We're going me. around the house. Next in now, line, you know what? It's, it's surprising. You know, I was Were thinking. Were you on Motley Crue too? No. <laughs> um, Kelly, he's like choice your age. But I did <laughs> unfortunately so have to play a few Motley Crue tunes in my career. Um, the, I was going to say the symphony. Because we did the symphony stuff. No, I went to the symphony before I went to Kenny Rogers. It doesn't count. First concert. Oh, the symphony doesn't count. Oh, well, then this doesn't count either. I would say the German singing choir was <laughs> definitely the first music that I've ever <laughs> oh! listened to. Oh, it oh. was. I was a little kid. My concert. parents sing. First, first otherwise concert. known as the no, no, if your Lieder parents are singing, Harmony. If your parents are singing, it does not count. Pick a concert. All right. Well, those were concerts. A lot of Quiet, right, singing choose, good German music, right? Choose a concert that your parents were not singing at. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry that I caught my headphones so on. So it's a tough one. Um, key. All I can think of is like, like one of the first concerts I really wanted to go to. Which was? And this was like junior high. Do I get to mock you? It was Poison. No. <laughs> no, it was like Maynard Ferguson. I mean, outstanding. You know, yeah. I, I mean, that's the only thing I can think of. Is like, yeah. I was a weird kid. Like, I was like in high school, and I wanted to see like Chick kid. Korea. And, that does not make you, know, you a weird guys. kid. That makes you invulnerable to taste. mocking. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's very sad. Invulnerable to. Sorry to bring after hours yeah. down to a screeching halt, guys. I thought no, the no. German choir was a real hit there. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, but it was just lame, so we skipped it. <laughs> it makes you a kid that had a lot of taste for being that age. That's what it makes you. See, here's the thing. I didn't well, get to choose my first concert. Well, I was just a snob. You know, <laughs> it's one, one or the other. Okay, there's that too. You, It's true. He's still a snob. Okay. I know. All right, now we get to ask John. Nobody saw him roll his eyes when I said Motley Crue. That's yes, and John can't avoid this question. <laughs> John, answer the question. John. <laughs> I hope it's embarrassing like mine. Well, well, actually, you see actually... the Backstreet Boys and you raise. So, so I'm sorry. Is Backstreet so Boys we... more embarrassing than Kenny so, freaking Rogers? So wait a minute. Before yes. we... We can't. Yeah, if it had been in sync, at least it could have been like I saw Justin Timberlake back in the day. But no. whoa, 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 whoa. I, I know that you love Justin John's Timberlake. John's turn. And, and, yeah. Look okay, at wait, this. No. John has already we like he's like I know. I'm over here. I didn't even. I know. Have to I know. Try. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> okay, John. So before he says imagine. something, let me break in. <laughs> let me. Hey, no, no, no. Ah. I have full disclosure here. Um, I said Maynard Ferguson as a show that as did a kid. You lie? But I did eventually end up playing in. Uh, Local heavy metal band and playing no, 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 some no, 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 Motley like, Crue not, tunes. So I mean, you know, heavy metal, it doesn't make me it was look a so hair bad. band. <laughs> well, it was so was band, Motley Crue, and there was spandex yeah, and aquanet and lipstick involved. So was Motley Crue. So Crew. was Motley Crue. I mean, so that's was, fair. It was but not heavy metal. Poison. It was a hair band. So I don't want everybody to think I was like totally. Who was not less know. than Poison. <sighs> Oh. Jeez, that you know what? You know what? Still on the I know that right. I said okay. that on March twentieth. I think we should play your movie, but I think instead that we should roll old Tokyo videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get to that. Yeah. We'll get to that. Okay, John. Hey, hey, hey John. nice to have How you on doing, the show, John. <laughs> Who was your first concert experience? Yeah, see, it's so arcane that I think maybe Kathleen McDade, and that's it, is going to get this. Hi, Kathleen. Hey, Hi, thank David you. Cassidy, anybody? Yeah. Everyone knows who David Cassidy is. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, I've talked to people, yeah. and they're like, who? Was he, was he, oh, please. was this post Partridge Family? Post Partridge? Or was it, or, <laughs> yes. Post Mortem? Was what? When, well, when he was touring with a, it, with a, um, with an electric guitar that he <laughs> nice. very seriously tried to thrash on. Just if you can imagine that. That's so cute. Yeah, if you, yeah, it was actually. <laughs> Kind of strange. Who's the I mean, guy? As a kid, you know, I mean, I was like seven, I think. Who was the guy who came up on Twitter? Something came up, and and I, I, I did, it was like Bobby Sherman. I mean, <laughs> no, no, man, I'm telling you. And I had like the post, like the raisin bran or whatever, with the cutout 45 of Bobby Sherman. He was like all over TV, and he was like he was like a pre David Cassidy kind of guy. I'm, you know, he was like the proto oh, yeah, David Cassidy. It's like yeah. that. You know, LeVar Burton's not the Twitter news. It's, it's Bobby Sherman. Yeah, no, I mean, he was no, like some guy No, it's not that Bobby the, Sherman is on Twitter. That's another like the early 70s. No, I know. You have to be Which really old rule, to know that. Which would rule, by the way. That would be unbelievably awesome. I'm going to take a deep breath, and then I'm going to say, AJ. Oh, wow. What was your well, see, first concert? <laughs> Thank going, you, John. As we're going around here, you know, it brings back memories and everything. So I remember seventh grade, um, me and another guy 
we were like, yeah, we want to go see Poison. They're coming to Chattanooga, Tennessee. <laughs> and you gotta you gotta understand, Chattanooga, Tennessee is this little little town that nobody ever comes to. I mean, Guns N' Roses it's like the did. Train. I'm sorry. The train. The train. The train. Oh, the choo 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 choo. Guns N' Roses came here and said, "Okay, we're never, ever, ever, ever coming back here again." I'm like, "Oh, that sucks." But I remember actually lying and saying, "Yeah, I went to the Def Leppard concert and everything else." Da 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 da. But that wasn't my first concert. I didn't go to my actual real first concert until like 1999. And it was Red Hot Chili Peppers was the mainstream, and Foo Fighters was opening. Yeah. And Foo Fighters sure. kicked major ass. And the Red Hot Chili Peppers, uh, Flea and the head singer, they were just Anthony. arguing back Anthony. and forth. Anthony. Keys. They were just arguing back and forth. And I was like, what the, what the, what the, what the, what the, I call them the Chili, Chili, but were they Chili Pepper. Socks? Right? No, they were not wearing socks in their costume. Oh, no, didn't do that. oh no, 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 no. They were fully dressed. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yes, yes. See, that was at way, way, that was like many years after the, the, the Rolling Stones. Socks on the Fox. Yeah. So we discussed this earlier. I've seen Red Hot Chili Peppers in concert once, and I got kicked in the back of the head. I still have a dent in the back of my head by someone wearing a steel-toed boot. And what I did not tell you was that I turned around and kicked that SOB in the balls. Nice. Very cool. And then I completely don't remember the rest of the show. (laughs) (laughs) Because, you know, you get kicked in the back of the head with a steel-toed boot enough to get you a dent. It gets a little hazy. It gets a little fuzzy. Yeah. I do remember the ride home. I was riding in my brother's car. Dr. Normal has heard this story. I was riding in my brother's car on the way back home, and I was laying with my head in my friend's lap. And my brother was very uncomfortable with that. And I was just like, dude, I'm trying to remain conscious. <laughs> Leave me here, alone. Has anyone here ever seen... Sorry. Thank you, doctor. Has anyone here ever seen a group or a band or an individual more than once? Never. And if so, who? Nope. More than once. More again. Oh, my God. This has, like, fangirl written all over it. It's Barry Manilow. <laughs> I can beat it. Sarah McLaughlin. Oh, that's oh, not bad. Well, I not bad. Yeah. Yeah. I see her every day. Must have been the Lilith Fair, right? Six times in two years? Lilith Six Fair. Six times in wow. two years. My that's goodness. dedication. You must have done some wandering to get there. Mm-hmm. So we got to say that um, I think uh, uh, John's got a, another engagement. So um, mm. I See, I'm trying to do the, the cool, <laughs> like, yeah, I know. <laughs> so and you, signals. you should take... John and Jessica upstairs, and then I'm going now. To before force... we do, there, she did say that she was admitting to having seen somebody more than once. So we <gasps> got to give her the mic. Oh, okay. So well, you keep... I have seen, you know, Winona, Jed, mm. multiple times, and Garth Brooks, but um, most recently there are some lo- some more smaller singer songwriters that we go see every time they come to Portland, like Dar Williams and Lucy Kaplansky. We've seen a couple times. We love Dar Williams. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I gotta say, if you ever have a chance to see Beth Hart in concert, mm-hmm. that is an awesome little concert. I have to say, if you ever get to see Craig Carruthers in concert, you should go. I yeah, love that's right. Craig Carruthers. And I have to say, John, it's been nice to meet you. Uh, been, I don't think we'll ever speak again after you get home. What the hell? So uh, <laughs> thanks a lot uh, for coming. On. He's just <laughs> and, he's uh, just doesn't want to throw his underwear at you. That's I'll, all. I'll <laughs> wave to you at night. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh crap! It's a strange of life. I'm out of there. Man. I was on that damn show. Jeez, man. Damn what a disaster. I'm get underwear thrown at Actually, me. I thought it was good practice for avoiding. You know, avoiding questions. I was, the, I was impressed by your avoidance technique. Yeah. I really was. It, it's really... You, you should know, run for it's, politics. It's, it's an old <laughs> style that you just kind of be quiet and let other people talk. Yeah. Because eventually people will babble. Yeah. So you're, you're actually exactly. the perfect guest for us. Because then you, go, you sit here and facilitate our conversation. <laughs> we do like to talk about ourselves. Yeah. It's impressive. So, you know, just a model guest for Strange Hope. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Yeah. Norma, leave the leave the audience mic live, please. Um, I will. Thank and you. Uh, so, John, thanks a lot. Let's let's. Thank you, John. Thank you, John. Woo! And we'll continue the net last. And uh, thank you, Jessica. Yay! Yes, thank you, Jessica. Woo! Woo-hoo! <laughs> so now, we're gonna get down to a little question that, that Morgan brought up. 
Who was your first crush? Uh oh. Wow. <laughs> I'm Don't let him leave yet. Yeah, I'm out of here. Uh, he's gone. <laughs> Bye, John. It was really nice to see your hair down and flowing. Last time it was in a ponytail. <laughs> Jessica, it was great to meet you. I hope you come to Ignite. Thank you. Um, I'll start because, you know, what have I got to lose really? <laughs> My first crush was not Harrison Ford. Mm -hmm. I want to make this very clear. It was not Harrison Ford. It was Han Solo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I loved Han Solo. It was the little vest and the boots. I think the bo I love boots. It was the boots and the vest and, and the, you know, cocky asshole attitude. Uh, oh, Han Solo. <laughs> How I love you. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's good. Okay, okay next. <laughs> Morgan. Uh, I'm glad I'm last here. I love how you handed off that back. <laughs> You're like, it was oh! her idea. Her idea. She gets to talk first. <laughs> I wonder if I can avoid this question. No, you can't. <laughs> uh oh. This was not my idea. <laughs> no, it was not her idea. Her idea was to talk about your favorite concert, but then she told me somebody she had a crush on, and I was like, oh. Bobby Sherman? <laughs> Evil brainstorm, Bobby Sherman. Okay, so. <laughs> So mm. as as a very young <laughs> I must I must note that she's gesturing to like one foot high. <laughs> <laughs> when I was really, really little, I had a crush on Captain and Tennille. <laughs> <laughs> the both of them. All at once. <laughs> so I was confused. Captain Tennille. <laughs> oh Captain. <laughs> 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 I think Cammy had a crush. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Han Solo really and truly was my first crush. Well, yeah, but I'm not. I'm not saying that. I'm just. No, saying I didn't you had know. Crush. I didn't know Captain Tineo was until I was much older. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so you had a crush later on then. Oh yes. Okay. Uh huh. Sure. We'll okay. go with that. That's okay. good. Sounds good. Okay. Uh, okay, I think I would have to say Ed from the Bare Naked Ladies, <laughs> which is the other, which is the band that I've seen multiple times. Good times. The guys are outnumbered here. <laughs> <laughs> hope Dr. Nurm will be back soon. I hope so. Uh, and so will Kelly, and then we'll still outnumber you. <gasps> yes. Okay, so Delay. John, continue. Other John, not the John that was on the couch. Yeah. Now I'm the primary one now that the real guest is gone. You can... Yes, now I can just say John. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, well, in terms of, like, you know, public figures. Mm-hmm. Probably Beverly Crusher on Star Trek. <laughs> I have to say, <laughs> that was oh, the doctor. That's wasn't the geek it? cred. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Oh wow. Yeah, but the hot one, not the wow. you know, not hot one. Yeah. So, well, was there? There was another. There wasn't another female doctor. Was no, there? there was. Um, uh, what's her face? Moldar took over for season two. Oh, yeah. Because no. there was like a contract dispute. Oh, yeah, yeah. But then she came back for season she three. Came back. She was there for one and then three yeah, and then other, everything else. That yeah. other doctor was so lame. Yeah, super yeah, lame. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Where's Dr. Normal? AJ. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, so, you know, I came to here tonight prepared to say, okay, what kind of underwear are you wearing? Or oh, what oh. are this? I'll ask that in a minute. Go ahead. Oh. <laughs> I opened my big mouth. <laughs> um, so I think my very first crush probably came with Alanis Morissette. Mm. With the whole song, you know, movie theater and going down. And you know, I was like, yeah, that sounds fun. I think that was my first crush. Interesting. Now, see, I want Kelly and Dr. Normal to come back from seeing out our, our guests. So they can answer the question, but they're not here. So now, because of AJ, I'm forced to ask what kind of underwear everyone's wearing. Well, we'll start with you. I am wearing a pair of uh, black silky uh, briefs. <laughs> Is it the lacy kind? or just... No, no no lace on these. Okay, so the lacy My ones... My favorite ones are lacy, but these right, are not Right, because they make you feel more powerful and everything and yes. in charge. Yes, exactly. You it... listen to my Ignite presentation. Of course, yes. Well, no, 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 no. I got that before the Ignite presentation. It's true. Girly, lacy underwear makes you feel more powerful. Yes. And therefore more in charge and more aggressive and assertive. I've always yes. found Oh, there's that. Versal. Oh, <laughs> yay! <laughs> They're back. Excellent. Uh, John, could you hand the microphone to Verso? Verso, we were discussing who what our first crush I was on. What have I walked into? Yes, who was your first crush? 
You ask that like you don't know. Spill it, baby. Han Solo. See, this is why Verso and I, we love each other. We've also slept with one of the same men, so. Thanks, because that's really what the internet needed to know. Whoa. <laughs> they totally did need to know that. I'm not going to tell them who it was, well, but he knows who he is. It wasn't PDX and Scott, And hopefully it's I'm not sure. like he's listening. And no, it was not. No, oh, I'm you know sure what? it wasn't. He should he have He has once. a hard time even looking Cammy in the eye. It's true. She's a little scary. Cause I she am. Wears, like, she likes I'm to wear scary. the tank top with the tattoos, which when right. you're an accountant is kind of weird. I, well, I, yeah, and the I cleavage, I'm sure, is like totally yeah. distracting with, yeah. with yeah. the tattoo. I mean, it's yeah. not like it's no. something Although, that to be, fair, to, to be fair, to be fair, the, the guy that we both slept with, I scare him too. Well, yeah. He but, deserves it, though. Like, karmically speaking, he needs to be a little frightened once in a while. He's always been afraid of me, though, so it's, it's okay. It's, it's easy to scare geeky boys. Yeah, well, yeah, he was obviously a geeky boy. Well, yeah, it's yeah. easy to scare us geeky boys. Deeply. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he was, like, probably the most geeky boy I've ever known. Would probably, you... yeah. Yeah. Well, if that's the case, yeah. it's really simple. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we don't know how to All right, so, okay, it. and then now I so have a Han question Solo. for you. Uh-oh. Which is, um, last oh, no. week, we were discussing beer and blog. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. And... But we have to get Dr. Normal to tell us who his first crush oh, is. Sorry. Then you can ask. Dr. Normal. Doctor. First crush ever. First crush. Well, Kim and Chaos already knows. Follow this, up sure. question: Was she on emergency? <laughs> it was probably one of the purple wig wearing, um, silver lame boot wearing. Oh, you mean on TV? Yeah, just in general. Just period. A, oh in yeah, pub, a public figure. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It was all from the '60s. Because otherwise, I'd have to say Michael Frisbee. Um, I don't no know one, Michael Frisbee, <laughs> no, so I didn't he have was a crush in on him. Doctor Normal and Michael Frisbee. That doesn't sound too good. No, it doesn't. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It could sound good in some circles. Although, I if, think. if I'm well, really not, nice, not in not in your circle. I'm sorry. <laughs> if I'm really nice, Doctor Normal will dress up like Han Solo for me, so it's all good. Yeah, Ooh. I don't <laughs> think so. Look, you stop, won't even stop, look. Stop you won't even let me put husband. on the Batman outfit. No, and I, I will damn not good have that, sex so. with you in the Batman so, outfit. Han Solo so. and Princess Leia. I can only imagine. No, what I will not dress up like Princess Leia. Who was your first crush? So this is on TV, right? Yes. Okay, well, a public figure. It was public all in. Yeah, it was all in the '60s. I would have to say you, you were right. The the UFO girls with the purple. But I I really the most memorable gal that I had a crush on. <gasps> I know was, who it is. You do know Emma Peel in you, the leather you're right. suit. Mrs. Oh, Emma yeah. Peel, um, Diana Rigg from the Avengers. That's hot. So yeah, I know this. Girl. She wore black boots. I know this girl. Who black skirts, <laughs> to know dark how to hair, make, like, and leather body suits. Hmm, wait a minute. <laughs> I need to tell the chat room. Fantasy Doug, come true. Doug Coleman, you were so wrong. What? Oh, what did Doug Coleman say? Uh oh, Jeannie. Oh, oh yeah, no, 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 no. It was the. It was the. <laughs> Uh, it, it's the girls with the black boots, the the dark hair, the and, the, and the and the you know, here's the thing nine millimeters in their hands that the really 60s? get get Doctor Normal going. It's like yes, yeah. the yeah. 60s <laughs> paved the the way. Way. Look at Cammy's boots. If the, if it hadn't been for the 60s and the television shows in the 60s when I was not yet born and Doctor Normal yeah. was a youngin, was <laughs> born, then then, <laughs> alive. then I would not. Have been able to uh, you know attract him so readily. I could have said Tintin from the Thunderbirds if I really wanted to go. <laughs> you know, from from the puppetry aspect, that's really creepy, and from yeah. the live action movie aspect, um, I would have to divorce you I and send you six, to jail. 60s. So, and all those all those gals from the James Bond movies back then and stuff. You know, it's it's uh, I like sexy and lethal. Yeah. You know that's what can I say? A sort of chaos. chaos. I'm with you. Kim Anybody else like sexy? And I could totally hurt somebody. Yeah. Not so much. Uh, a little bit. Oh come yeah. on, like <laughs> a little bit. It's like yeah. the sexy and the little bit of lethal that works. Hey, yeah. Princess Leia note. in the gold bikini. <laughs> yeah. Knowing that she could is capable of holding a thermal. Knowing that she could totally strangle that? Jabba the freaking <laughs> hut with a chain. Well, the, the problem is that knowing that I could hit that. That's yeah. a. That's oh, a, it's good. Yeah. I would have hit that. Well, I'm sure that you would have. You know what? Here's the thing. I'm a geeky boy. Let's be honest. I would not. I would not have had sex with Princess Leia in that because she looked like a freaking anorexic creep. Oh no, not that thing, but just in general. However, I mean, however, assertive. As Morgan is well aware, (laughs) you put someone in all in red leather and. (laughs) Oh! Yeah, put some big right. boots on them. And I, <laughs> I don't remember what I was gonna ask AJ now. All I want to ask yes! is yes! Yes! red Jesus, leather I what? <laughs> red leather what? And that music means I Dr. Got... Normal is tired of hearing me talk. And I don't have to answer <laughs> for this question. I don't know what it was, but I'm glad I'm off the spot. 
Oh, you're yeah. learning from John. <laughs> well, publicly, I'm off right. the spot. Publicly. publicly. Hey, everybody, thank you so much for joining us. It's been a fantastic show. I had a great time. Thank you so much to our studio audience. Woo. Thank Thanks. you to our guests. John uh, Meta. One of three is left. AJ, so, Waji, yeah. I'm just gonna think. Aid. I'm just going to thank AJ because everybody else left. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you very much. Goodbye, everybody else. AJ, that was an awesome Bye-bye. drink. Thank you. Good night, everybody. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week. <laughs>